giving people time with Alzheimer's to slow progression is very valuable, not only in terms of their quality of life, not only in terms of preparation for what's to come, but also in terms of families and how they're coping with the situation. Hope for Alzheimer's patients. Thursday, the Food and Drug Administration endorsed the IV drug Lakimbi. Now, the drug is the world's first and is a sign of hope for millions of patients living with Alzheimer's disease. Joining us now is Catherine Lambert, the chapter CEO of the Alzheimer's Association for Western Carolina. Catherine, it is good to have you here with us this morning. Thank you so much. This is a milestone that you all have been advocating for, uh, for for years now. What does this mean for not only patients, but their families and loved ones as well? I think at, at its core, this is hope. Um, and, and this is the first traditionally approved FDA drug that is actually treating that underlying biology of the disease versus just targeting symptoms. And it's certainly not the finish line for us, but getting this uh, approval, uh, traditional approval yesterday, and then also the news that the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services uh, plan to cover this drug it is so critical for, for patients. Which is, uh, which is important, uh, Catherine, because we're talking $26,500 a year for this treatment is super expensive. And I, well, let's be clear, this is, not, this is not a cure. This is not a treatment that's going to make it disappear, right? That's correct. It targets uh, that, that buildup of the beta amyloid and it slows the progression of the disease, which offers more time. And, um, you know, I think the while so many, the Alzheimer's Association, uh, bipartisan leadership, but hearing from those families and those individuals for whom what those extra months of time with independence, memories, um, it, you really can't put a price tag on that. And so, no, it's with a chronic disease, being able to slow progression is a win. Well, and Catherine, like any drug any of us take, there are risks and side effects. But as you mentioned, buying that time where your loved one could be a little more independent for a little bit longer, you hear from families all the time. that, And that's what the disease does is it, it robs you of time with your loved one or quality time at that. That's exactly right. And I think one of the biggest pieces of this is is have this discussion with your physician. And we are really encouraging those early conversations as we notice any cognition changes in ourselves or in our loved ones, because this drug has been tested on those in that mild cognitive impairment or mild dementia due to Alzheimer's with that beta amyloid buildup. So really making sure that we're not burying our heads in the sand about concerns about our, our cognitive health is going to be so, so important with this advent of this drug approval. And you don't want to get everyone's hope up, hopes up, you know, that, that may have uh, a certain degree of, uh, of dementia or Alzheimer's. Is this, since this is so early, is this something that, that, that everyone gets excited about? Do you, are you still cautious about it and you want to see how this works? I mean, I'm just, I'm curious, uh, how do these conversations go with your doctor between now and maybe someone that gets to use this medicine? So the important part is going to be early and accurate diagnosis. So again, there are many types of dementia, and this is really targeting those that have that under, underlying buildup of that of that protein, of that beta amyloid protein. So making sure that that's there and present is going to be so important. But again, having those conversations, because there is other research in the pipeline, you know, from, uh, from laboratory to medicine cabinet is a very long process. And so there are clinical trials people can be a part of. So even if this drug isn't effective for someone, uh, there, there is more coming. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And what does that conversation look like if you've got an elderly parent or an aunt or an uncle? Sometimes just getting the ball rolling, that that's tough. But this drug, Lakimbi's proof that the early conversation is, is critical. And that's something that you all, as long as I've been doing stories with the Alzheimer's Association, you all preach and preach and preach that the earlier the better. Absolutely. The earlier, the better. And those are tough conversations. So one of the things that we offer is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week helpline. Um, and that number is 1-800-272-3900. You can call and say, I don't know how to have this conversation with my loved one. We can help you through that. Um, additionally, if you notice concerns, 
annually or even more often with your primary physician, having that conversation and, and acknowledging, you would acknowledge other concerns you have about your health. This is no different. This should be a part of our annual health conversations. I'm sure when a family member gets the diagnosis of maybe early uh, onset dementia or maybe it's more severe, I would think a lot of families feel like, oh my gosh, I'm isolated, I'm alone. I, there has to be someone out there to help me. How important is having a support team with you uh, to, to make it through this process? That's a critical piece of this puzzle. And that is the part, you know, even as we have this treatment and others to follow, that's a big part of what the Alzheimer's Association does in our local communities. Um, we can help connect individuals to others living with the disease, other family members who are caregiving, um, additional wraparound sources, uh, services and resources that folks may need. Um, ALZ.org slash North Carolina is how you can reach us online or that 24 hour a day, seven day a week helpline. And we can help navigate this process as you work with your medical professionals as well. Catherine Lambert, the CEO of the local Alzheimer's Association chapter. We always appreciate uh, your time here with us. So thank you for what you and your team do. And this uh, decision from the FDA certainly uh, giving a lot of hope for a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. Come